uh, Lingora is there. Oh, yeah. And he's 30. He's our age. And the way they talk about the baseball oh, the, players, like, like, he's how, like he's fucking, like he's on his deathbed. He like, yeah, oh. like opened the coffin and resurrected yeah. <laughs> him real quick for the series. It's like, fuck you. Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Yes, once again. Or very possibly for the first time. And we're back. And as we predicted, Cerny, we looked into our our uh, whatever you look into to see the future. Crystal ball, as they're called. Yep. And we predicted we do know who is facing off in the World Series. We have the, the hill. Yeah. I, I would say this is uh, Robert... The uh, Bob Manfred's worst nightmare of World Series teams: the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Texas Rangers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, former Giants manager Bruce Bochy out of retirement. If was it early? Was this year? He turned it around yeah. that quick. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Two 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 uh, two seasons removed from losing 100 games. <sighs> That's impressive. And uh, so we have that. And then not only do we have some great playoff baseball to watch, but the 49ers lost Monday Night Football. Oh, oh was, my gosh. You we know were what? distracted with the baseball game is what the I problem was. I was distracted. Was. And I was going to let it slide. Mm. But we, but CERN got a dig. How them horns hanging? I mean, he, <laughs> he, he. Well, I thought that was a, I thought I took that to me. Because I've been on a, I've he been was, it. It was to you, but it chat. was to both of us. It was yeah, just, that's true. He, he knew what he was doing. That's why I asked how the gang was doing. <laughs> gang, gang lost the gang. <laughs> <laughs> because Joe and Dana have been trying to say, uh, Bochi gang. Yes, which and which is very similar the to the Niner gang, gang or whatever. Gang, gang, gang Niner gang. Because I hear it all yeah. the time. I know the roots of that. That's why I'll say Team Boch. Yes, Team Bochi, but so, never, never Bochi gang. And uh, so they lost, and which was to the Vikings, who were like two and four. Wasn't a good showing there. Their beloved quarterback, Purdy, was concussed. He wasn't, but uh, I think he played the full game because he threw the oh the pick, uh, two picks in fourth quarter. Well, I, I saw today that he's on concussion protocol now. Yeah, yeah. I think probably maybe something after the fact. Oh, okay. They Maybe he has to take a test after. Yeah, I get Field sobriety test or works. something. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? The guy in the Saints, like some DUI video came out, and he's like, yeah, I play for the Saints. And the cop's like, so? And? <laughs> and? <laughs> oh. uh, you see that? You see that meme that was like, uh, Saints can't finish drives? Oh, yeah. On the field or off? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. Man. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and, I mean, these DUI videos... There's just so many cam. There's the camera on the cop car. There's the they got the, the body, body cam, cam. now. Like yeah, it's, it's all you're not you're not sneaking off. I think the days of of grace in the palm is it's, it's, it's long. Done. There it's over. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these people should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Um, but I think the NFL has like a program. I don't know if this guy was drunk or not. I think he was just driving recklessly. I don't know. Mm. I didn't really read it, but yeah. I do know that they do have like a program where they'll like a rehab NFL thing, will right? send a, they'll send you a driver. Oh, like it's, it's part of like their, their, Oh yeah. Cause there's a big, that's a big investment. That <laughs> is true. Have, they can't have you. On like, body yeah. How much really is it going to cost to have just a NFL Uber hook, uh, hooked up to some like NFL credit card that is just like, call this number. And it will just happen. You will get picked up. No questions asked kind and of shit. we're not going to take any check. It's yeah. co- completely on in the NFL. Yeah. The problem is, is when you're drinking, the confidence oh, goes yeah. up, which is yeah. the problem. Is like, oh, I can uh, make it home. I can see also like a lot of these NFL players have a lot of like yes man buddies. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dad. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good, bro. 
And they get away with, uh, I'm sure they get away with more, you know, if you have money, you usually get a quote unquote, get away with more things than your average uh, civilian yeah, uh, yeah. does. So they're probably used to a certain, you know, stomping all over the law. But um, related to the Niners, we have a college football scandal on our hands. And this thing is only getting juicier and juicier as juicier. more details roll out. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's Michigan. Yes. The Wolverines. Yeah. On well, Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Uh. Once a little, spy, little spy gate going on. Yeah. So the whole and I mean, this is I'm naive to this situation. I thought it was a regular thing that football teams did scouting and like tried to get reports on their opponents. Like, is that not that a regular they, thing? I think they do. So I saw this coach i think he was the coach of i think his name is matt rule or Roo, whatever the fuck he was he used mm-hmm. to be the Panthers coach he got fired coach in nebraska or something like that now and they asked him about it and he actually had a great point because he said well we need we need like intercoms in the quarterback's helmet yeah but i guess they voted down hmm. and he says he and he says something about i get why they voted down because there's more scoring and all this oh, other nonsense he said, because normally, like he said, in the NFL, you call in like three plays and then, you know, the quarterback will go up and figure it you know, out. He'll call a play, but he'll go up and say, OK, well, then we're going to change that because of the safety is, you know, whatever. OK, not where he's supposed to be or his feet, his, his position means he's going to do this, or whatever. He said, but they don't He said they do that. And he said, we have technology in the pros and in high school, but we don't have it in college. Hmm. So he's talking about, you know, stealing signs. He goes, he, he said, yeah, I, I look for signs and I'm sure they're looking at me. I get it. Yeah. Now that the extent of however Michigan was doing it, he said he did. He wasn't going to comment on it because he hadn't talked to the proper <laughs> people yet. So the, the scandal is there was some person on the Michigan payroll that would fly to whatever their next opponent would be or some opponent buy tickets on like the 45 yard line and just record the whole game on his phone. Basically it's kind of the gist that I got and he's buying these tickets on StubHub and like seat geek. Um, and the school's all paying for this. And then now they're finding he would take these videos from his phone, upload them to computers that he's logged uh, in as and shit. And he's on the payroll. Of the football. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, there's just so much evidence. You're a dedicated spy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, which is kind of weird though. I mean, he was at a game, so that's the other thing that, that, that strikes me. He, it's not like he, you know, took bolt cutters and broke into the, you know, the practice yeah, field and down, like it. took their uh, playbook, downloaded the yeah. playbook off. Yeah, their, he, he uh, didn't service. pull a, a Belichick and like you know have the cameras spy on their fucking doing their walkthrough and stuff. He didn't do shit like that. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, he's an ex-Niner, so I wouldn't... I, yeah, I would you wouldn't put it past that. him. No, I wouldn't yeah. put it past him at all. So, I mean, I guess I guess you can't be... I, I, I could see the thing that the NCAA has a problem with is, like, Michigan has a lot more money to pay someone $100,000 to go do this operation, which other schools are not that... don't have that kind of money to throw around for this. So it's definitely not an equal playing field, I guess, as well. Yeah, not at... Uh, yeah, not, you know... I'm sure the top 25 could, but past that. Yeah. yeah I can so, see Bama doing stuff like that. So what what do you think is going to happen? What's the penalty going to be? Like, they're going to lose scholarship? Like, what's it going to Or is it going to be a wrist slap on the end? The evidence seems to be damning, for sure. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's... <sighs> Did they clearly break a rule? Because then they can like strip titles and scholarships. Mm. Yeah, they could do all that. But if they didn't, I don't know. And they were also scouting on teams like that. They weren't. It was like, oh, we might play this team mm. in like some bowl game or something. So let's get some. Yeah. Is it really that advantageous? I mean, why can't your team just be good? You know, why do you need the. I mean, step into the world of baseball. They're stealing your shit all the time. That's true. I mean, and that's what I think is there's always uh, trying to get the leg up in baseball. But it is uh, odd that the no no helmet com. 
Apparently they voted down. I, I didn't know that until like I saw that clip and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of weird." But you can have it in high school. It's so so odd that like would jump a whole level. Yeah, and that was his point. He said, uh, basically, he was saying it's doing the the players, players a disservice. A disservice. Yeah, yeah, because you know, they jumped to the next level and they're way underprepared because they yeah. have somebody kind of like spoon feed them what they're supposed to do, and then when you go to the pros, it's like you better fucking know. Yeah, it's a good you point. Go, you go to the line, you better see, you better read that defense. Yeah, they're not; they don't have that muscle built in. No, interesting. And that's why I think you're seeing a lot of these these rookies just get it. Yeah, annihilated. annihilated. I mean, there was uh, what's that rookie uh, for the Falcons, Desmond Ritter? He's having a hard time. He's, he's having a hard time adjusting. <laughs> yeah, he's. he's I, I mean, I think he. I mean, he's he's got the talent. He just. I don't have him on my fantasy, so I don't follow him too much. But mm-hmm. I do see a lot of uh, people complaining. It's like you know, dude, where the fuck are you throwing? <laughs> he's throwing right down the middle when there's like three people standing right there. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like uh, set, it's like the second grade soccer team when they throw in from the side, they just throw it. I'm like, there was three jerseys of the other team. You just threw it right to all those three, and the person you're trying to throw it to is like ten feet beyond. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I don't know where that where that came from, but um, yeah. So we have a college football scandal. We got the World Series coming up this week. Um, those are some good good baseball games. I thought. That we had, uh, yeah, game, you know, the, multiple the, game sevens, yeah, the 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 championship series and both I think was good. Mm-hmm. I think people were were complaining because the basically up until that point it was just kind of boring. Team, one team just cruised over the next one. Yeah, very happy to see the Phillies. I wouldn't say they imploded, but they they got iced in Philadelphia. Yeah, two ga- I mean, that's a tough, and their fans. As predicted, turned on them rather quickly. <laughs> <laughs> booing. Leaving, booing. So uh, someone someone did a thing where he was out with a mic. Was like, "How do you feel about the Phillies? Fuck these guys! Fuck them! Fuck them! We paid eight hundred million dollars to go one for twenty eight. What the fuck? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man. Yeah. I mean, at that last, it was like four to two. Harper was up. There was a couple runners on i'm like i'm just waiting for him to just go two or three guys i'm just waiting for them to come through just so clutch but it never somehow never happened dana and i had a sidebar text going on during oh the game. wow and we, we we were agreeing that the announcing was totally pro philly and anytime schwarber or harper Ugh. got into the box it was like the messiah had ascended himself. from the heavens and took the fucking bat and was going to take a swing. <laughs> it was insane. I was driving me nuts. It's, you know, it's like uh, they have been on Sherber hard. Oh, of, sure, I mean, yeah. I, I get he's hitting home runs and shit. Cool, that's great. But like every time he comes up, graphics, everything. Yeah, and they were doing like the whole uh, like uh, was it the last inning. It was like if he gets on, it's going to completely oh, flip yeah. this script. I was like, what <clears throat> the fuck. Then he didn't. He just popped out. Then Harper came up, and I'm like, "Oh boy, here it comes. He's he's ready. He's fucking just." And they were like, "Oh, yes, it. and it's like he's right in the center fielder. He didn't even read the warning track. Get out of here." The uh, Harper like spikes his bat in, in fury, and you're like celebrating it. Yeah, you think? Yeah, he. I think he knows more than anybody else out there. <laughs> yeah, if, he, uh, if he's, if he's if got, he got all of it or not? Yeah. The um, the Diamondbacks, uh, they have a couple of great talents. They, yeah, Marte uh, and Corbin. He's he's Corbin Carroll is going to be the probably the rookie of the year, is my understanding. Oh yeah, he, yeah he, he is. Um, but they don't have any, you know, multi hundred million dollar players on their team. Okay, they just see, play good baseball. You know though. who the the highest paid Diamondback is? No, it's Madison Bumgarner. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh! He didn't play for him. That is. Hilarious. He could get a ring still this year. He, I saw he. I like, heard about this too. Like he sent out something to Pro Chiefs, like I'll finish game seven or some shit like that. He's so full of shit. He, he was washed. He was pretty heavily washed up, I feel like, this season, right? And then he kind of yeah, had he, that one incident where he was like, 
a little too cocky, and I'm like, you're not good. You're this isn't 2012 anymore. This is yeah. He did some and, shit where he was yelling at somebody in the box or doing whatever the fuck. Yeah, he was. Like, come on, dude. And it was like, dude, you're not. This isn't a Giants Dodgers. If you got a, if you got like a 1.5 ERA and you're sure talk some shit. Yeah, tell him tell him get in the fucking box, but not when you got yeah. like a 10 ERA. I think that's what he had. He had something ridiculous. Oh my god. So he he could get a ring if they if they so choose to to do that, but he wasn't. He was a weak stat line this year for them. Yeah, he was one of the. He's like that meme where it's like uh, when your team gets an or when your group gets an A, but you did nothing or some shit. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the and the Rangers definitely are slugging. The bats have. Yeah, their bullpen is what's. The bullpen iffy. is questionable at best. Iffy. Chapman. He, I, uh, he's blowing, he blows fucking gas still, but the dude is just, it's a coin flip on if it's going to be. <laughs> I know, either he's lights out or he's hurting yeah. It's one of the others. It's, 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 it's just, not like, oh, he, you know, he battled hard and he, he didn't have the stuff, but he battled. No, it's. Yeah. <laughs> How was it so, ever, is it, because he just chucks the ball as hard as he can every time? Yeah, I think he okay, just throws it. I think it, that's you know. just throws it. And yeah. it's like, I'll just sit on either the slider or the fastball, one of the two, and I'll just yeah. wait for it. He beating that dude in the ribs, oh, or in the thigh, knee, the thigh, what, where, wherever yeah. it was. That it's like the inner thigh, one hundred and five miles an hour. It's like, fuck. oh, did you see the slow mo? It's like the ripple through his leg. Oh. It's like a shockwave. Like, and oh, the guy man. was literally, he was like, oh, he was. It was like a, he was like an old crippled man walking away from that thing. I mean, <laughs> that guy has been hit a few times this year. Seattle s- squared him up in the ribs. I think it was. I think it was a little. Well, it was Chaz McCormick, but that he kind of he had a play earlier. He was the guy that like s- smacked the the guy's hand of going across the, the first mm-hmm. base. So I think mm-hmm. he's he's got a little target on his. Okay, back. he had a little bit of target. I would have loved if they if he would have dealt it up to Altuve though. That would have. <laughs> yeah, that would. Be. That might have that might have <laughs> cleared the benches again. I might have got a little sporty, a little sporty <laughs> on that one. But we 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 called in the group chat, but. It is appearing that uh, Max Mighty Max Scherzer is hashtag washed. He's he washed. gone. He's he was. I was surprised to see that in the twenty in the two thousand twenties. He has the worst ERA. I was surprised to see that too. I thought for sure. I was like Kershaw. How did you? Know? But I was like, nope. He's number. He's number one. But and Kershaw's had glass now is number two. Spectacular fails, which is, and I think that they have a deep a deeper value to us. The Kershaw yeah, oh yeah, explosions. yeah, and and, and, and Kershaw so animated with his hands on his knees, like you know that yeah, you know, the, the classic pose. Where it's like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he got yeah. So I mean, the Diamondbacks. I don't know what the what the what the sports books are saying about this or not, but who the, I think who are you Rangers going for? Rangers are home field because they have the better record. Okay, doesn't go so off. We'll be an Arlington game. Ballpark at Arlington here at the Friday is it I think is the first uh, first game. So I think let's see World Series money line, mm. Fanduel. Go go with it, should... Fanduel. Let's see, the Korean Fanduel is loading. The Rangers are favored minus one seventy four. And the Diamondbacks are hmm. plus one forty eight. Seeger is the favorite to win the World Series MVP. Oh, interesting. Followed by uh, Garcia, Adolis Garcia. Is Dude, Garcia has been. He had two bombs that in Game Seven. Yeah, he had like and like, like five like, RBIs or six RBIs or something. He had fifteen RBIs in the ALCS. <sighs> And he got it. Didn't he get ejected during the? No, I don't think he got tossed. It oh, was okay. uh, Abreu and, and that Abreu and, and, dude got Dusty. Dusty. Speaking of uh, speaking of Dusty, he's hanging him up. You heard it here first, though. On the yeah. Chip and Surge Chip, show. Chip did call it. He called it preemptively. He almost did a Chip Nightingale, but I have been I've been taking some lumps in the group chat lately. Rightfully so. You know, I bring it on myself, but uh, <laughs> I did have some redemption today. I broke, I broke it a little early on the Dusty Baker retirement piece, 
And then Joe piped in and he's like, is that confirmed? And I was like, oh, did I just night? And I was like, well, he's thinking it at that, at that point. I was like, he's pondering it. So he, it could be. I was trying to, I was trying to save you, Chip. I appreciate that. But uh, I had some redemption today when it, when it actually went through. Um, I don't even know where I even heard, heard the, the thing the first time, but whatever. He was there. It was, it was, it was confirmed. Now you did miss. Joe had said something about Chipper. Did you, it was like, you missed the, or what did you report on the uh, Brock pretty ankle injury or something like that? Oh yeah. I missed the whole, I missed that. (laughs) Oh, he hurt his elbow. So he was just throwing out a bad injury. And I was like, don't, you didn't oh, say you take the so, bait on it. Yeah, he was thrown out. A, he, he was he was he was he was <sighs> what a dog. And I was what like, a oh. dog. <laughs> and I was like, Wild Joe. Chip didn't respond. I was like, I'm just gonna leave it. We're just gonna, <laughs> leave, we're gonna leave, let it die because he he put it out there, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I saw that. And I'm like, I don't remember. He was trying to bait me. Yeah, he was. He was, he was trying to. He was. Okay. He was fishing. Okay. Let's Chip didn't, he didn't take the bait. I didn't take the bait. I'm going to check my sources. I say that. I'm going to check my, going to try to check my sources next time before I run my mouth. <laughs> Every once in a while when you say something, I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's not right. Dana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. And you just see that. I don't know. On the iPhone, you know, you can see when people are typing. You're like, oh, boy. Here it comes. I'm about to get <laughs> Every time, to fucking like, trashed. Chippers. Jimmy says that's not right. Let's see if uh, hopefully Joe's working. No, nope, he's not. Oh, he's, he's not working. Oh, here they come. Here they come. So we have that, and then I threw a good. Uh, I threw a skull out there after they lost to the. Uh, they didn't want to talk football for some reason. No, oh, those Niners no. fans. So like I, I, to like I sure say, they are like cockroaches. In the, mm. in the light of a loss, they scatter. They do. <laughs> I saw, and then Cerny, you sent a great meme. Not a not a meme, a collection of anti Niners uh, yeah. memes. It was eight, ten slides. I was having a great time flick, flicking through all those, and it's <laughs> the, like uh, Brock Purdy in the Elite Quarterback Club, and it's like all the yes. sheep, and there's a dog in the corner. <laughs> and then there was something about oh, after the Niners won the Super Bowl in Week Five, like <laughs> they know. lost two losses in a row, sort of I, thing. I was good. Stop laughing. It's so it's so true. Oh man, I was what, roaring. What are all these people saying that the Niners are going to go undefeated? The Super Bowl. I mean, that's basically what, that's like what we got. That's it. what really feels my fire. Well, I mean, I already have an undying hatred for it's, Niners. Not it, really, it was really killing me. Where it was like they they may never lose a game again, and it wasn't just like the fans. It was like. Uh, uh, ESPN. ESPN. The shit. first take. You know that all those. Ugh. You know, talking heads that just say there. Oh, they, I can't see it in a game where they're going to lose. They're going to roll over the Browns. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. And it's like, wow. Well, what well. did a Mad Dog Russo have to say about this? <laughs> you know what he said uh, today, according to my dad, because my oh. dad tuned in, because he that, said he was going to retire if quote the Diamondbacks won Game Seven or something like that. Right? Yeah, if the because it was three to two. Going back to Philadelphia, and he said he'll retire on the spot if the Phillies lose Game Six and Seven. And then today he took the air like nothing happened. He said, "Then I'll see you tomorrow." It's like, oh <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> he's a, he's yeah. <clears throat> um, I also been seeing lots of uh, I don't know much about the Colin, uh, hurt cow hurt. Whatever oh, that uh, uh, yeah, um uh, the herd, yeah, Colin Coward. Yeah, the herd. I always see the I've been getting seeing the commercials for that. I'm like, who's this fucking guy? Oh, he's been around forever. He always oh. he always talks some nonsense. Sometimes that- he makes some good points, but sometimes it's like, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like he, yeah. he he was talking about I did see I get a lot of his clips, I think, since I send James or whatever. Like, oh, you know, the you know, algorithms the got you sorted. And then I'll start getting mm-hmm. hit shit. And it's like, you know, I think I was sending James some anti Brock Purdy stuff so he can <laughs> go on his, his rampage. You're giving him fuel for his, his rampage? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm like the, uh, the, uh, secret funder. You know, the, <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah, you're the dark, you're the, uh, super pack. Yeah. <laughs> to James's. <laughs> Let it dark go. money. 
<laughs> Let him go on his money. path of destruction. I'll just feel, yeah. give him the, the funds to do it. Nice. Um, so he was talking about that because I was going to say some anti Brock Purdy nonsense because that's what James James has been all over because they're talking about Brock Purdy is well remember when I said earlier in the year when they were saying we got our franchise I said screen cap that screen Screen cap it (laughs) once he goes sour they'll turn on him and say they'd never they never won in the first place yeah they're worse than like Trump with his like yeah this guy was never my lawyer (laughs) you know (laughs) just like acting like they never said anything Ah, like that yeah (laughs) I mean we started with Colin Kaepernick he was he was the yeah, you know, the next Joe Montana, and then they they never yeah. wanted him. They never liked him. Jimmy G yep. and Jimmy G, we trust Jimmy G for Prez. Oh man, they were we all... got all that, and then it was like hit out. No, I never liked him. I never liked him. I was like, and it was before Kaepernick. It was uh, Alex Smith, I think, was like the oh, original yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. So now they're always Brock Purdy, uh, so James uh, has been really doubling down on his Brock Purdy. He's been going he, for you know, it. He, he had one today that it was having me in a, just in a roar. It was like, if he walks like a duck and he throws like a duck, it must be turdy, right? And, <laughs> and like, so he's been right on against him. He only throws he only throws it check down. Mr. Check down. Five yard passes. Just throw it to the big guys. Let him run over, buddy. Throw the most yak. Like he started going over this whole thing and it was just so Too then much. I was just sending him like, here you go. Like they were like after the first loss, like he's not a franchise quarterback. He's not the he's not an MVP. MVP would lead your team to a victory, and and I was just like, <laughs> just send it to James, just feeling him, and he was like, I, you just take it, and spin it right out. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> just just sending it right over. I um I get I get caught up in some weirdness on the the IG and the algorithm. I get like one. I'll look at one video. Some chick's got some fucking booty. I'm looking at that thing, and then all of a sudden, I'm just getting like bodybuilder. Fem- like women bodybuilder oh. like i'm like how did i get 15 of these videos all of a sudden i looked at one ass and this is what i what i get it's, and then it's, it's off weird on some like other there thing. was one so jeff and i will like to like he likes to look at pokemon cards and like you know oh, like yeah. see where like where they rate and stuff like you know like, uh-huh here's the number one card in the set so like we'll look at that and there was one where there was this 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 lady and like huge boobs and like a, like a super low cut yeah. and like was doing like, here's what I pulled, but like, you know, putting her boobs out in the yeah. camera and stuff. And I was laughing and I should, I should my my wife. And I said, what's this? I don't really think she's looking for the, for the, for the pokey ball. <laughs> the Charizard. She's, she's not yeah. going for the Charizard there. <laughs> I, I think she's, you know, and, and I was laughing, you know, and, and I got an eye roll and I was like, but I said, seriously. And then like the next 15 was like, just like that, it was like a bunch of girls. Like, you know, yeah, you're like, what the heck? What the hell? <laughs> just because you at you like looked at it for ten seconds longer than you yeah. normally do, it's like, oh, this is all he's into now is big chitty, big chitty big Pokemon titty, girls. girls. You know, pulling Pokemon cards. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll I'll look. I'll get some uh, trading card videos, and I'll look at them, and all of a sudden, I'm getting like tons of these coming in and unboxing, bit, pack ripping and stuff. I saw oh, one yeah, that was. uh a four hundred and fifty dollar pack, quote unquote pack, but it's a custom, authentic jersey from either like a Hall of Famer, a rising star. Oh, yeah, I've seen those, yeah. And I was like, four hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, and he opened, he's like, Oh, it's uh, you know, like some Hall of Fame running back from the the Browns or something. Like, oh, it's like it's good, but I think he looked it up on eBay. It's like, oh, it's worth two hundred and fifty dollars. So yeah, he like see, didn't make his awesome. money off of it. It's like, oh, I'm hoping for the Brady. I'm like, well, everyone's hoping for the fucking chasing. Brady. But, you're yeah. chasing. <clears throat> so there so, is, there is like, so Jeffrey like loves to watch, you know, the, the you know, the rip, the pack rips and stuff. Yeah. And there's like some, he was telling me like, oh, dad, there's this neogenesis. This was, this came out back in your day. And I was like, well, your day. Like I'm dead. What the fuck? <laughs> My son's still up, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't <laughs> set yet. But anyway, <laughs> um, it's worth it, it was a short print and he was like tell me and i was like oh okay it's a thousand dollars a pack i was like damn a thousand dollars a pack he's like yeah but you can pull like he was telling me the gold star charizard and i was like oh my God, i don't know what the fuck that is and i looked it up and yeah it's worth like every bit of like 30 grand if you pull it damn but i was like man you were chasing he's like oh yeah so then like you know, kids, and they go into the the fantastical, like 
Yeah. What if, so like his, his world is like, like my wife likes to go to estate sales and stuff to get like furniture and stuff that she can refinish. Oh. He's like, what if we go to an estate sale and they have a booster <laughs> box, which is like, you know, like the 36, you know, like the, yeah. the store. Yeah. Full of those. Well, better yet, a booster box, a base set. I was like, what's that going for? He's like, like 400,000. A booster box? He's like, we opening it? I said, fuck. No, no we are selling it. Paying the fucking house off. <laughs> we are selling it straight up. I mean, that that is a plausible scenario with the estate sales. But I, yeah, I feel yeah. like you'd it's have to get like, there when it's, it's open. It's not impossible. I'm not going to say it's, you know. Yeah. But, it, it, but he was like. Back they had, we got we got to open up. What if they had two boxes that I'm selling two boxes? He's like, we yeah. got to open up one. <laughs> I no. said, no, we don't. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna almost happen. a cool million in my pocket. There's no fucking oh, way. Yeah, uh, I back a uh, little bit backtrack into the baseball. Uh, Lingora is there. Oh yeah, and he's thirty. He's our age, and the way they talk about the baseball oh, they, players, like like he's, how, like he's fucking. Like he's on his deathbed, he like, yeah, oh. like open the coffin and resurrect yeah. him real quick for the series. It's like, Fuck it's you. like oh, he's so <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm like and I'm sitting on the couch like this dude's as old as me and they they're seriously acting like he's a geriatric. And I'm surprised <laughs> that, you know, how could he be out you know, of the field? About that too. It's the people that are talking about him like he is, you know, he like he fought in the Civil War. Yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah. They're older than us. So it's like, hey, fuck you. What's that make you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he served. He was under the, the Lincoln administration. <laughs> and, you know, he was on the front lines of Grant. That's like, yeah. <laughs> Like oh, and they're they're like oh, this kid was born in like two thousand five or something, and you're like, yeah, yeah. that's when I graduated fucking high school, and it's just yeah. it's uh yeah. I'm not going as um, rookie year, and I'm like okay, yeah, oh, it's rookie year, blah blah, and I'm like yeah, he's got a little like you know uh, salt and pepper in the beard or whatever, but they're like oh, I hope he can. Like oh, they're sending him out to pasture. He's always, he's going out like I oh, hope he can get one more. Hopefully good he has season. his life load around his neck for that dive. You got to push the button yeah. if you can't get up. Yeah. And meanwhile, this guy's going to, you know, hopefully gets a World Series ring for himself and a, a fat bonus and just retire and have a, you know, enjoy the next uh, 40 years, 40 plus years of his life. I, I know. It always amazes me <clears> to <throat> see some of those athletes. I think like Edgar Entry was one of them. Like, remember, he, he won the World Series MVP as rookie year with the Marlins, and then he won it like many years later in 2010 with the Giants. Yeah. And I was like, if that was me, I'm. I'm done because he was older. He was, he was old at that point. Yeah, like, I'm done. He's like, no, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a couple off for more, more seasons. Years. Yeah, right. I mean, it's like, hey, you got the fire, and then you're also like, someone's like gonna give you five million, however much. He oh yeah, that's that's the tough part. It's like his mm-hmm. last couple seasons. Well, it's like Dusty ba- you know, Dusty yeah. Baker. You know, he's he's hanging him up. And yeah, I was, heard it here first though. This guy at work was like, oh, Dusty Baker's hanging him up. I said. What's he got left, man? He already won a World Series. I said, okay, when you're on deck, when Hank Aaron breaks the home run record, a seven fifteen. If you're on deck at that point in time and you're still around, <laughs> maybe you should hang him up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a great that's a great point. Okay, wow. Okay, so here, Renteria. He was 19 when he won the in in 90 when they win 97, uh, 97, 98, 97, 98. Anyway, he made a quarter million dollars when he won with the giants in 2010 he made a cool 10 million and then he went on to play one more year with the reds and he made two million so those two years on the giants he won he made eight million and then 10 million so i mean he's uh 85 million dollars career to date earnings that's good buddy not too bad not too he's he's doing fine if he i don't know where he's um yeah, yeah, I know a lot of the fan stuff where they're like, uh, where they're calling people, uh, where they're like, oh, sell out. You know, like A Rod was a sell out for going to the Yankees. And I was like, what? Okay. I mean, so <laughs> you can, it's easy for someone to sit there back and be like, I would never go to the Yankees. Like, oh, if, yeah. if they back to the brink truck to your fucking front door, <laughs> I, I think you would sign. All right. The most, one of the most iconic baseball organizations <laughs> in the, 
not just baseball, like sporting organizations in the world, and you're like, oh, yeah, I know. I mean, it's like yeah. I hate I hate the Dodgers more than anything. But if I was playing, yeah. they're like, hey, you want to come play for us? We'll pay you twenty million dollars a year. Like, where do I sign? Yeah, <laughs> I'll put you on know, that like, long live Kurt fucking Gibson. <laughs> where do I sign? Yeah, where do you where do you go there? Um, but the cool thing about the baseball playoffs this year, uh, the kids were kind of getting into it a little bit. And I was like, oh, and I said, because we usually, you know, at night, we're just watching whatever fucking shows they want, which is some nonsense. Yeah. You too. <sighs> you know, I'm like, we're it's playoff baseball. We're I'm like, we're watching the game. There's a game on. So yeah, we were I'm making evoking, a bunch I'm, I'm evoking uh, parental. Yeah. yeah, I was doing parental tyrannical, authority. I think my daddy say tyrannical law. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then after about two or three days, they're like, oh, another baseball game? But then they, they're kind of getting into it and, and watching it. So I'm That's like, okay, good. cool. That's good. There you go. It's good. It was it was also from a... Uh, it was like, oh, this is fun Like to to be into something with your kids from like a, a parental perspective. I'm like, okay, this is good. Because I'm not so much into the fucking Paw Patrol and uh, you know whatever else. Shit. No, no. You know what they've been into? Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh man, I'd rather watch Paw Patrol than Alvin and Chipmunks. It is. I remember that face. It was hor- it's hor- it's Dude, horrible. They have some new version. I don't even know if it's new, but the their their handler Dave, their yeah. the human, he's a fucking bumbling idiot. And then he always calls the police officer whose name is like Dangus or Dingus. <laughs> <laughs> So it's pretty good, but uh, the uh, theme song, I find myself like singing it during the day. It's oh, problematic. Yeah. That's a curse. It, it really is. It's not a good place to be mentally. Uh, <clears throat> well, World Series coming up. Basketball season's j- just kicked off, and uh, football, we're still in the... This yeah. is a real sweet spot for sports. I think there's even hockey uh, playoffs happening. CERN does not follow hockey the yeah. slightest. I can't I just can't get into it. I can't do it. It's a it's a different type of game. Yeah, it's, it's not for me. I mean it's just like for me, like with the World Cup, mm-hmm. I'll check I would check the scores when they were done just so I'm in the know. Yeah. But I wouldn't I couldn't watch the game. I couldn't I gotta say I've been into there. getting into Besides like Mbappe or some shit like that. You know, the, you're you're messy or yeah, any of your, your your household names, but after that, I couldn't tell you. I Beckham. Could. <laughs> hey, you guys like a Netflix special? Out. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I did hear about that. It, um, <clears throat> but you know, I haven't I haven't watched. No, I haven't watched, I watched that. that. I've seen it. I might get. I might get to it. Right now, it's a struggle between. So my wife doesn't like sports, but she'll you know when mm. big games on, she'll yeah, she got to suck it up. TV. You, how many fucking lifetime sh- shows have you seen? She, you know, it's a, it's I'm a, even, it's a tip. I don't think I'm even allowed in the room because I always like pick it apart. Wait, hold on, let me guess. No time <laughs> well, for I, backup. She's gonna go in there and fucking crack the case. I remember when I would come over and she's watching it. I would be there for literally like two seconds, and I would be walking and be like, "Oh, hey, how's it going?" And then I just turn and look. And then, like a scene happens, I'm like, I just start shitting on it. Yeah, and she's like, she just pauses it. It's just all fun is ruined. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, what? In what lifetime would they just, it just almost an attempted murder, but all right, cut off them, take them away. No questions <laughs> asked. And then everyone just clears the scene. <laughs> I'm like, there's not even one question. <laughs> I know. It's like, no. Yes. Someone was beat with a fire poker in the middle of the fucking room. We should have cuffed him, <laughs> drag his lifeless body away, and just, just clear the scene. It's like uh I don't know why, but my wife for a while was into watching rewatching the murder she wrote. Like the, <laughs> and there would be she would literally be assaulted with a gun, f- shot at, and then she's like, "Stop!" Like <laughs> it's like I'm like, "Whoa!" They just she talks him down from it after you all know, the, the that's really that's all I'm like the talking like okay, this person's supposed to be a psychopath. Yes. I said, I said, now if it were me, I always do that. If it were me, and I'm going on a reverse rampage, I'm not going to listen to this motherfucker. I'm out to no, kill him. I'm going to blow him away. I'm not going to listen to the two cents. It's over. Boom. <laughs> Moving Let on. Let alone old bag that up in Mendocino <laughs> or wherever. Where, where, just 
like how much crime is happening in this in this sea in the seaside town? <laughs> I know she's just <laughs> man, just uh, r- rampant with criminals. They you gotta, yeah, you gotta, they, you gotta bring in the old uh, Giuliani to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Remember he cleaned up the, yeah, the old one. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. allegedly, he uh, he's going away for. I feel like he's gonna go. Oh yeah, all, everyone's turning on on. Uh, they're flipping. They're flipping now. Yeah, they're all uh, pointing fingers at each other. It's a uh, oh boy, it's a it's, shit show over there. It's it's really it's really something. It's really something. But um, yeah. Anyway, we got the World Series. Looking for that. I'd say I say go Rangers. I'm I'm going for the Rangers. Oh yeah, so, Team Bochi. Team Boch. Yep, Team Bochi. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be upset if the dime. Like, I think it'll just be a. They're gonna bring out Luis Gonzalez. <laughs> Randy Johnson is he they'll... coming back? Oh, he might. He's a photographer. Craig Council? Now, is he, is he gonna? Oh yeah, he is. A, he is a photographer. I heard Craig Council is being interviewed for some uh, some job, some uh, managerial position. I think his I contract remember. is up. Oh okay. For the Brewers, oh, he's with the Brewers now, right? Yeah, and he so was maybe it was for the Padres at the beginning of the season when when Kapler was fired. He was on the top of the list as far as speculations because his, his contract was up, but oh. Melvin slid in. He's in there. You know what? And Stat Boy was hating. He someone pissed in his Cheerios this morning. I noticed it was I think he's still so salty it was the day from after, the loss. It was a day after yeah. the Niners loss. I think he he's was still just, hung over from the loss. He was salty. But I think he I was. mean I was I, I like Bob Melvin. I already when they said that the Padres gave him permission to oh, to wait, interview, I was like deal. Oh, he like grew up in Palo Alto. Yeah, that's where he you know he went to some high school out there. I can't remember. I said, they got to spin big he was though. A giant catcher. We need some. We need some big. They need some big names. Yeah, I mean, I would hate for Bob Melvin to come back to San Francisco and have to deal with the like Oakland two point <laughs> oh. Yeah, he <laughs> was over the there nightmare. for a bit, huh? That's brutal. That was brutal, but. Anyway, he's not as good looking as Kapler, so we'll, you know, he doesn't have that going for him. He's not a, he's not a looker. He's not hitting the gym like Kapler. Kapler was no. I don't think he's crushing those fucking green smoothies either. He's probably it looks like he's still ripping heaters. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'll we'll see. I'm I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic, but we need Farhan to do something. You know, and maybe show himself the door would be. This is. I just feel like this is last year. If he doesn't do anything, he's going to get. Yeah, closed. if he kind of sits on his hands and kind of tries to do yeah. the bargain basement deals, it's like, come on, dude, this isn't Walmart. Just this isn't fucking back frugal. Your, your your owner said, just go out and grab. I'll pay it. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. But don't Fans. don't spend. Don't go like the old giants where they they you know <laughs> where they spend like someone's like on their last leg. Yeah. Five years. Like, hey, wait a minute. That was a great signing 10 years ago, but what the fuck are we doing today? Like, what, the Marco Scudero contract? I mean, we could just ramble off about 15 contracts <laughs> yeah. that Sabian <laughs> greenlit, apparently. Pat Burl. Oh. Aubrey He's, Huff. Even as of late, it was like Randy Johnson's like, hmm, great, great. Yeah. 40. Two year old Randy Johnson. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, he probably still threw he probably still did pretty well. <laughs> He's still Randy Johnson after all, but but anyway. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to the World Series. Go Rangers. And as always, go Hawks. Horns up. Go Rams. Up. Rams. Fuck the Niners. That's all sorts right. of things like that. Till next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. <laughs>